Hi, for this tutorial I'm going to show you the cash payment section of the banking part of MYOB, the student edition. So I've already opened up my MYOB. Um, when it comes up, you've got the account section which you worked on last time. Obviously go to the banking tab and funnily enough, we want to go to spend some money. So that's what we do. So that's how simple it is. You click on that and You'll, you'll notice that it's, um, all the money is going to come from the check account, the main cash bank account that we use. I'm going to use two examples. First one here, we purchase some stock, also called inventory for cash, for 15642 And while I'm here, I'll show you how to do this one for insurance as well. It goes exactly the same. Okay, so what do we do? So uh, in the payee section, um, I just put... Um, what it's about, just a description. So it's cash purchases of stock, doesn't really matter. The important thing here is the amount. Okay, um, let's just check the amount is 15642. It's got one too many zeros. Now the account here is important that we, we're obviously going to credit the bank, bank account and I want to debit the inventories account. Better make sure that I've got it. Yes, I've already created it before. So put that in there. Um, now I'm going to explain the tax item again. Now if you're doing the exercises for the first time, if there's no reference to the GST, that's all you do and you can see the, the entry that you would uh, make here. But later on when you involve tax, just click on goods and services tax and it takes 11th away. So there it is, there's a tax component um, automatically done for you and record. That's all you do. I'm going to quickly show you how to record 484 for insurance. Um, so we go back here, paid insurance. I can spell it right, that'd be good. Um, the amount is 484. The count, I've already got it here. Remember from last time, if I had to add a new account, if it wasn't there, I'd go there, type the new uh, discrete number, the count name, and so on. It's just, just in case you haven't got it. But I did have it already, which is good. So I'm going to click on insurance 484. Again, I'm going to put in the tax, but as I said to you before, if you don't have any tax, you obviously don't put it in. But in this case, I'm just showing um, when you do have to put in the tax, it calculates the tax automatically for you, record, and there it is. Okay, so I've shown you how to put those in. I'm just going to check to see whether I've done them correctly. Go to my transaction journal, and you can see uh, this is in discrete general journal format now. So before... I had inventories, the tax paid there, um, and the amount that goes to the cash at bank account called the check account. Remember that if you're doing it for the first time, the inventories will be the same amount as the check account. Um, if you've got a GST component, obviously that comes off, and the insurance account, insurance entry is exactly the same. Okay, hopefully that's been useful to you. We'll go and do um, the cash receipts next.